If you want your paddle racket to end up like this, then click off this video right now. But if you want to be like me, who's never had a racket break, then I suggest you watch this video to find out how. Here are 10 tips to make your paddle racket last a long time. Tip number one is to not pick up the ball by using your racket by hitting the ball on the ground or using your foot and the racket to sort of lift up the ball like I'm showing now. Obviously, the reason people do this is for ease. They can pick up the ball quickly, but it can damage the frame of your racket. Now, the frame is the strongest part, but if that bit damages, that is where the racket is going to start cracking and that is how it's going to break. Just avoid doing it. Don't be lazy and pick up the ball with your hand. Tip number two is to not leave your paddle racket in your car overnight. Again, loads of people do this out of laziness. You know, they put the racket in their car and every time they play paddle, it's in their car easily. However, your car can get very hot. It can also get very cold and that can soften your racket or can harden it. So it is changing how your racket is going to perform on court. This leads me on to tip number three, which is to not let your paddle racket get too hot or too cold. So leaving your paddle racket in the sun all day or leaving your racket outside in the freezing cold all day, it's going to change your racket. It's either going to harden it or really soften it. A lot of the pro players out in Spain, you'll see them putting up a paddle racket in a freezer to cool it down so that it's not getting too soft. Keep it in a cool, dry place for maximum performance. If you need help choosing an incredible paddle racket, then hop onto everythingpaddle.co.uk, click the little WhatsApp button and you can contact me directly. I'll give you specific advice of what paddle racket to choose and then you'll be able to get something to destroy your opponents with. Tip number four is to not let your paddle racket get too wet. Obviously, I know this is really tricky for players that play outside a lot, especially in the winter when it's raining a lot. If you're using a week of fiberglass racket and it's constantly getting a wet ball hit of the racket, it's got a very high chance that that's when it can crack and break. Make sure you use new dry balls every single time. Don't pick up the old, heavy, wet balls that have been on the court for ages because that, against the racket constantly, that's really going to weaken it. I've seen it firsthand myself. I've seen a player in the wet with an old wet ball go for a smash and the racket just split down the middle. As I used to be a coach, as I had two rackets, one for tournaments and matches and one for coaching when it was raining because I didn't want to damage my actual racket. Tip number five is to use the bag, cover or case that your racket came with. Now, every single racket and my online store everything paddle will either come in some sort of cover or bag or drawstring bag depending on what racket it is. Higher end rackets are more likely to come in a cover. You're probably going to have to look to spend around 150 to 200 if you want an actual cover. A lot of the bags at that lower end are going to use just a drawstring bag and the beginner rackets are probably just going to have a bag like this, just a basic cover. Obviously this isn't the most ideal thing so my next tip is to invest in an actual paddle bag. So let's do a little paddle bag review. This is the type of thing that you're going to be getting if you get like a big Knox bag. You can get Adidas ones, there's head, there's ball paddle ones, there's loads of different bags. My personal favourite are these Knox bags. They store a lot of equipment. As you can see you can get three, four rackets in this main compartment. Compartments for food and drink. And then you've got these tiny small compartments that you can put you know your car keys and your phone and stuff like that. These bags are ideal if you're actually seeing about paddle and you really want to improve and you're going to a lot of tournaments and matches and obviously it looks after your racket because it keeps them really really cool and dry tip number seven is to use the wrist strap really really important number one for safety reasons obviously it massively reduces the chances that your racket is going to fly off your hand and you know either hit someone in the face or more importantly we're talking about taking care of the racket sort of hit the cage and damage the frame of it tip number eight very very similar keep replacing this overgrip this overgrip is quite old you don't want your hand slipping out and again your racket could, could fly off and get damaged now you might think oh but i've got the wrist strap on but if you're near the cage and it flies off it could still quite easily hit the cage going down on the floor and it slips out your hand it could quite easily hit the floor as well tip number nine is to get one of these things a racket protector now a lot of rackets will come with racket protectors a lot of them will come in with these sort of built-in ones as well if it comes with one basically the way it works is a protector that goes across the head because like i said earlier this is the strongest part of the frame however if that gets damaged that is where you're in trouble that it could start to crack and break into the rest of the racket tip number 10 is to consider the material of your paddle racket now there are two main materials fiberglass and carbon Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is much stronger and durable, which means if you have a racket with carbon on, like this Ali Power 3.1, it's going to last a lot longer and it's going to be much stronger. The fiberglass and the cheaper rackets, they will break over time if they're used repetitively and hit in that same spot. The material just isn't as strong. So it might be an idea to invest in something stronger, like carbon, if you want it to last a lot longer and if you're serious about paddle. Having a strong racket means you can practice for hours defending off the back glass and you can learn some tips of how to defend off the back glass right here.